everyone. Good evening and welcome to the More Yoga Cafe. My name is Yvonne and I'm really pleased to once again be hosting Yoga Journeys on the Connection Cafe. So what is Connection Cafe and what is Yoga Journeys? Let me tell you. So More Yoga came up with Connection Cafe as a way for us to connect right back last March in the first lockdown. And then in the summer of 2020, when George Floyd was killed, I was asked to host something to platform, amplify teachers of color. And I came up with Yoga Journeys. And Yoga Journeys is where I interview different yogis of color. I ask them the same 10 questions, but of course the answers are completely different. And this evening I have the pleasure and the honor of share, um, inviting Shifana Mufi. <laughs> Welcome to Yoga Journeys, Shifana. How are you this thank evening? Thank you so much. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. I'm really good. I, 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 yeah. I'm really excited doing these now. There are, it, it means a lot to be able to hear everybody's journey and see people come on and join or they watch uh, online later. So thank you for tuning in. Welcome, Amanda. Um, so before we get stuck in to the yoga journeys questions i'd like you to introduce yourself so imagine you're in a lift with somebody and you only had 30 seconds All to right, introduce right. yourself how would you introduce yourself okay uh, my name is shifana Mufid, and normally people call, uh, known me as shifana ayoga because i have uh, i have my own studio in the maldives my both both my parents are from from the Maldives, uh, but uh, Maldives there are about more than thousand islands, and um, my mother is from one island, and my father is from a different island. And uh, my father got a job from my mother's island, and he went there and wow. met them, and they got married. Uh, I have about uh, I have uh, four brothers and three sisters. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing so you are a yoga teacher yeah i'm a uh, yeah i'm a yoga teacher <laughs> what what I, style uh, of yoga do you teach i normally teach ashtanga hatha then but it's a combination because i have been uh, i have been in the fitness fitness field about uh, 20 years wow uh, i started with my aerobics training step aerobics i i did my step aerobics training oh wow and, uh, after that i did um les mills les mills an international program i think you have what's that it. what is that i don't know what that is les mills. les mills is uh is just an international program you have to get licensed to do the those programs they have body pump body combat body wife then i i am certified uh, as a body jame body jame is a dance style Oh wow! Thing and body pump is the use in body weights. I mean the weights, and body combat and body wife, and at last I did a uh, body balance. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I I have done a Zumba training as well. So amazing. I, I'm very familiar with the group fitness things. So I'm I love to do group fitness. <laughs> so did the group fitness we're fully jumping ahead but did the group fitness then come before yoga yeah yeah too uh, earlier i i did my personal training as well at that time because in the modis it's like when you have uh you have in the studio you have to get to know everything so right it's like, yeah so it's like a one-stop so, shop so i come to you like for all my physical activity uh, so it's better to educate other people. So if you know something, then you can deliver it better. So that's why everybody study everything. Amazing. So yeah. within all those different realms, you're also a personal trainer as well. Yeah, yeah. I do. Wow. Excellent. And then, and the thing is, uh, we, we don't have uh, that facilities. I mean, those training in the Maldives. So we have to go abroad to do, do the training so every time we have to do something we have to go somewhere nearby it's like three uh singapore malaysia 
Thailand. Oh, wow. India. Yeah. So you travel to all those places to do your training? I did all my trainings from those yeah, nearby countries. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. So of all the different aspects, which yeah. is your favorite? Now my favorite um, is yoga. Right. Okay. <laughs> but okay. I, love, I love to do Zumba because mm -hmm. I love dancing as well. Um, in in Les, Les Mills programs, I love body balance because body balance is a combination of Pilates, Tai Chi, and yoga. Wow. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Amazing. Because, because of body balance, I wanted to learn more about yoga. Right. Oh my okay. Started actually. Okay. A yoga instructor. Okay. Thank you. So you've actually told us about your family lineage. So everybody, including yourself, is from the Maldives. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much. And I said just before off camera, I've never yeah. met anybody from the Maldives before. It's yeah. somewhere that's my go-to destination, one of my yeah. destination yeah. islands. It's but I've never so met cool. anybody from who's born there before. So lovely to it's meet nice. you. <laughs> yeah, you can go there. Yeah, I'll get recommendations from you, definitely. Place. Sorry? It's, it's really beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Okay, so you ready for the rest of the Yoga Journeys questions? Yeah, sure. Okay, so where, where, when, and with whom was your first yoga class? Uh, actually, I, I worked uh, worked in a studio called Heat Health and Fitness in the Maldives. And there, there is one guy who was taking yoga classes. His name is Ashraf. He's, he's from India. And I, I was doing all these kind of programs, like I told you before, the, those things. And I wanted to go to do body balance. And in the body balance, I, as I told you, they have Pilates and Tai Chi and yoga. So I, I, that time, actually, I was very, very inflexible because we, we were doing a lot of pumping. We were doing a lot of, lot of fitness, but without not deep stretching. So it's like we, we, we had very um, tight hamstring, quadriceps. It's like very, very stiff. That's why I wanted to do body balance. So I went to his class first, first time. And I when I did first downward facing dog, that time I was laughing to my belly. I couldn't hold because I I I don't know why. I have never done those kind of things mm. in my life, but uh, I thought, yeah, this is not for me because. I love uh, doing things with the music and with a lot of energy. So it's like, okay, I can't do this yoga thing anymore. <laughs> then I was slowly left the room. After that, I went body balance training because I supposed to do body balance. So body balance is also with the music. They have pre-choreographed. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful with the music and is go with the flow so i love that but the thing is when i teach it's mostly with the yoga moves so i thought uh, i should know better i i should understand yoga more because i want to teach them otherwise it's difficult for me to teach so mm. that's why i thought ah uh, yeah i have to do yoga then i went uh, uh, India mm -hmm. training it's uh, 2011 I went. Hold on. Pa pause there for the training for a minute okay. when was the first class what year was that the first class yeah uh, the yoga I, class yeah it was uh, 2000 uh, I think 2000 2002 I joined that studio so it's like yeah uh, around 2003 2000 2005 maybe yeah. 2005 Five. and then you say 2011 you yeah. decided to go to yeah. India because to do training yeah because 2005 I stopped there 
And I did that time I did uh, my body vibe training mm -hmm. in uh, Singapore because uh, body vibe training is with the uh, resistance band and with Pilates ball. That time I did that training. Then after a little while, I did my body balance training. So it was a gap there. How long are the different trainings for the non-yoga things? So like the body balance training? No, the, the, those trainings are like uh, three or four days it will be. Oh, okay. But, okay. but you have to have uh, the, and uh, you have to, before you have to study anatomy, anatomy and you have to be a good with the cueing, a lot of training, you have to do prayer with the training. Right, so okay, okay. Like you have to learn a lot because those kind of trainings are with pre, pre, pre uh, I mean, choreographed. So we have to learn that I and mean, we have to, uh, I mean, teach them with the whole thing, not, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can't, we can't do anything. We, we can't modify anything. We can't do anything. We just have to teach them how it is. So it's, it's not that, but it's more tough than the, I mean, the Zumba and yoga training because yoga training, you don't have to do um, once, I think maybe because you have already learned those kind of things, then it, it's easier maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. but the training, yeah, they are very strict with the, um, I mean, you, ha you have to test, you have to take a class. Very strictly, you they have SS. Amazing. And, yeah. and so 2011, you go to India for yoga teacher training. Yeah. So what part of India and what style was your first training? Uh, I went to Goa. Mm -hmm. India. Uh, it's, I, I went to Himalayan Yoga Valley with mm -hmm. Abit and uh, it was uh, Ashtanga, mm -hmm. once intermediate and basic. Yeah, they okay. did, uh, yeah, uh, mostly intermediate. It's not, yeah. How long was the, the training? It was one month, one month and one week, I think, yes one month and one week and that was your your 200 hour yeah 200 hours. 200 hour okay can you um can you uh i think i've jumped the questions there <laughs> okay so before you went on the training i jumped the question okay. when did you realize you wanted to teach there's this uh, i think i have told you before because i i wanted to do uh body uh I did body balance in the right. body balance. Yeah, it, uh, it, it has Tai Chi, Pilates and yoga. That's why I- Right, do. okay. <laughs> so you that, wanted to I, understand I already more. answered the question that was That was the reason, right, I came. Yeah. Well, okay, Maybe. there could have been another reason <laughs> as well. Okay, now we're, now we're up to date. So it was an India intermediate uh, yeah. Ashtanga yeah. training. Yes. Yeah. Okay, how many people on the training? I uh, about I think four around forty people are there wow. in the training. Okay. Uh, so many people, but um, mostly from Europe. Okay. And only two Asians. Okay. Yeah, only two Asians are there. And out of the forty. Around yeah. About, so about out of 40. the forty people. Forty people. How many people of color? Just two. Yeah. Including yourself. Yeah. Really? Wow. I'm from Maldives and one of the girls from half Indian and half Canada. Right. It's okay. Like full. Yeah. It's all Europeans are there. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're now going to move on to highs and lows of the wellness industry. So I always like to say, if you think about the lows first, if there are any lows, because it's an individual thing for you, um, oh, yeah. it's your journey. So if yeah. there are any lows, you do the lows first and then you end on the highs, you know? So what do you like about the wellness industry? I think for me, lows are, people are not very aware about 
yoga, I mean, yoga, not only yoga in the fitness industry, there are so many things need to be aware of it because without knowing nowadays in the Maldives, something is happening. There are uh, some shares. We, we, uh, uh, Maldives is 100% Muslim country. Mm -hmm. So they are like uh, saying yoga is a very religious thing. You right. can't do yoga. So it's like people are not really aware of it. They are, they are thinking this is a religious thing and we are praying, whatever, <laughs> I don't know. I think because of lack of awareness, they are thinking. Mm. So mm. I think that's the law, law. Need to be more aware of what, what is yoga really is. You don't have to do, you don't have to pray to another God. Mm, absolutely. Yeah, but you can have both. You, know, you can have your own religion and God. yoga. This is a yeah, this is horrible thing happening right now in the Maldives. I think, yeah. I, I saw some of the posts from Twitter. It says yoga is blah, blah, blah. This is really and people. Wow. So some people believe because of lack of awareness, I think. Yeah, mm. problem. Mm. But the highs are when you know what yoga is, people really loves it. People enjoys. And I, I have seen many people have uh, um, so they have recovered from so many injuries. They have uh, 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 recovered from many problems in their life. I mean, like they have uh, sleeping problems, insomnia. Mm -hmm. they, mm -hmm. they have a lot of uh, this kind of little diseases, little uh, back pain, those kind of things. So many people, so many people. I have uh, teached about eight years in the Maldives. Mm -hmm. that time I have uh, I have many people are coming and saying uh, this happened to me and now it's all good I now I can I one there there was one girl uh, she couldn't get babies mm -hmm. so they she they they were trying IVF and mm -hmm. still couldn't get it and uh, when she started doing yoga after three months, she got pregnant. Wow. So I had three cases of that. So it's like, yeah, it's like uh, after starting yoga, you have uh, uh, relieved all the problems. It's like, mm -hmm. oh my God, you're flying high. <laughs> wow. And, and of course, the people who are coming to the yoga class, yes. they are so connected to each other. Mm -hmm. Still, I have groups. Uh, with I mean the Insta, um, Bible groups with them and they are like family they are always I miss them a lot now <laughs> yeah yeah it's like a it's like a family and also in the Maldives it's very small country because of that everyone knows everyone it's like if if I'm your friend your friend knows other friend it's like yes small, yes very connected other, very mm. connected very, it's, mm. it's like a very small family we have only about um three lakhs people in the Maldives so it's like very small wow yeah it's just a family when did you come to London uh, it's very recently I I came to London in 2019 end of 2019 oh wow and after that you know what happened in in March lockdown I, I was about to teach uh, in more yoga on March 17th and which one? Uxbridge. Okay. Uxbridge, yeah. Yeah, I was going into I, Uxbridge I as well. Start. Yeah, I was so <laughs> sad. Yeah. When, I, when I came here, yeah. I, I thought I, I couldn't stay at home. I need to do something. I have I, I have put my CV uh, somewhere like um, uh, active Active, uh, Virgin Active. Yes, and yep. I found more yoga and some of the fitness centers I put. And I got uh, one job from a spa. Mm -hmm. Then first I started doing yoga there. And when I started there and I got job from more yoga, I mean, saying that I can take uh, backup classes. I mean, shit, um, 
cover. Cover, yeah, cover classes. So I wanted to start more yoga. And after the lockdown, I got called from Virgin Active. Mm -hmm. But I thought, yeah, it's more yoga is really interesting uh, because you are very, it's, it's a very flexible schedule. Mm. Because I have two kids here, yes. so nobody is there to look after them. In, of course, in the Maldives, there are so many people they can uh, take care of kids and sisters and brothers there. But here it's me only, so mm -hmm. I have to be very flexible. So it's, it's more yoga is designed in a way that's it's really flexible for mm, it works with your childcare. I, I'm so impressed with the, this, yeah, this design of the classes. I, mm. I told uh, Daniel also that this is a very good thing that you, you have not no much pressure. Because mm. You have, if you're busy or you have something, you can just give the class to some other teacher it's, it's really good yeah mm. how old are your children um one is uh, 13 years and the other one is six years old excellent 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 okay so just coming back to the wellness industry yeah. do you have one request of the wellness industry yeah it's, it's, um people need to be more aware of what they are doing and spread the word to everyone and let them do the thing, uh, give awareness. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Find, uh, yeah, that's very, very important, I think, because some of the things are not quite good because I'm I'm talking about in the Maldives because I'm not very aware about this London yet. London. Yeah. I just moved and I know it's, it's much more civilized and <laughs> more people understand fitness and wellness here than Maldives because yes, Maldives is getting gradually getting better. I think this mm. day mm. by day because when I started yoga, it was very few. Only I think three or four people were doing yoga at that time. Very few instructors were there. And first I started doing yoga. It was like, I'm, I'm the one who started putting all the things on Instagram. Mm -hmm. When I do some, a little wide legged pose or something like that, people were just saying, look at her, she's spreading her legs or saying, uh, bad stuff about the mm. photos and stuff. Then I will start uh, doing like, a little more advanced poses like uh, Bakasana and headstand stuff. Mm. Then people realize, oh, this is yoga. Mm. People thought, first, people thought uh, yoga is like, mm, it's not, uh, <laughs> not, not very in interesting because I also first thought, oh, I don't, I don't like this. But when I, I did training, it was like something totally different. It's not only just, mm, oh, yes, physically also, it's very uh, uh, challenging. It's not very easy to do also, but you will get it. Because most more, I normally do power yoga because I have a fitness background as well. So right. I combine mm -hmm. everything and like more like a more challenging for me for my students as yes well. so it's yeah. like a different thing for them it's not like just sitting and doing just meditating people think uh, if you say yoga then they think it's just meditation oh, yes it's misconception isn't it that. they don't they, that's why i said it's you need to be more aware of that what yoga is because yoga is eight, eight limbs there are so we are just practicing a few things yes yeah so it's like yeah that makes a lot of sense thank you so moving on to the first lockdown so you had settled in london like as you say lockdown one march 17th yeah. 
you know, no more Uxbridge. Yeah. How did you manage to get through lockdown? Now, since I started this, obviously we're now in lockdown three. So what has got you through the lockdowns? And is has this one been different to the other two? Yeah. Tell me about your lockdown experiences. Yeah. First lockdown, this time I was uh, practicing yoga a lot because I was going to start yoga classes at Uxbridge. So mm -hmm. I was practicing a lot. Then after lockdown, I, I had many, many students from the Maldives. They were asking me to do uh, Zoom classes. So I started doing Zoom classes that time, but it was very difficult because my kids are at home. Mm -hmm. I started doing it in the sitting room. It's Every time they open the door and just ran out. Mm. So it's very, very um, distracting for me. So I took about uh, it one month yoga. Then I stopped that one. First lock lockdown was like that. And then I did some of the uh, uh, practice at myself at mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. That time I did a lot of practicing at home yes and, yeah. yeah well we have time and space right yeah, so, yeah. yeah then after that again more yoga open on i think august of yes yeah yeah uh, yeah and also but that time they didn't open Uxbridge. no no yeah so i didn't get my class but i started taking the covering classes again mm -hmm. and after that they opened, I think, on November. Uh, I got class from Finchley. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I took all uh, about four classes. Mm -hmm. And again, lockdown can. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah then this, uh, after, I think, again, they opened on... The, this this lockdown, right? Yeah, so this is yeah. from the 5th of November. I yeah. don't think we've, yeah. No, again, they open for, I think, December somewhere. Mm, I, I'm, I'm losing track now. I don't think they did reopen. Yeah, I think, yeah because I, I have to take my kid, uh, my, my elder daughter is uh, doing tennis. She's okay. a professional tennis player, so wow. I used to go to, it's very, very far from here, so I used to go to take her to school. It's like one hour ride from here to there. Right, okay. I, okay. I that. <laughs> okay. So it's like, yeah, I think December they have a couple of days open, and again, January, 5th of January, they close the full lockdown. It's tier four. I think. Mm. I, I say I'm lo I'm losing track of time. It feels <laughs> it feels longer than that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah you're probably right. Fifth, I remember January mm. fifth. They have this tier four thing. Yeah. And yeah. The full lockdown. Then no no gym, no tennis, nothing. So we have to stay at home. Like, okay. Yeah. So what? So was it the practice that's got you through navigating the on off of the lockdowns? Uh, it's, it's tough because uh, when you uh, stop practicing, it's like again your body needs to do, need to push a little bit more to. Okay, I have to start again. I have to start again. Now I, mm. I, 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 I couldn't do that much because kids are home, and it's difficult for me now. They are doing online classes, school, mm. Mm. so it's. It's a busy life now. Yes, yeah. After their work, then it's for me, it's more lazy, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no? yeah, yeah. Because it's very cold and staying home is like, oh, I need to push myself a little bit. But I bought a treadmill. Oh, amazing. Last Yay. I think I'm going <laughs> to, yesterday I did my treadmill thing. So after that, I'm going to do again my yoga. Right. Okay, lovely. My well Instagram done. Is not fully, now it's not content, not giving that much. It's just very few. <laughs> yeah, like, that start small and then increase, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
So if you cast your mind back to the summer where we had, you know, may he rest in peace, George Floyd, where he was killed in the summer, yeah. then there was a lot of the um, Black Lives Matter protests. And, you know, it was recommended that people diversify their social media feeds and, you know, become more aware of other cultures. Um, did you did you notice additional followers on social media? Did studios contact you? Do you notice anything around that time? You know, I didn't notice that, but uh, definitely my uh, followers has been I have lost some of the followers because before I had uh, 10.2, now it's like 10.1. I think because okay. uh, I'm not giving that much co much content. Right, okay. okay. Them, that's why maybe, because I'm not very, it's active, active in the mm. Instagram, not putting every day. Mm. Before mm. I used to do every, every day because we, I had so many classes and after the class, we used to do acro yoga as well. Oh, wow. So people love to do acro yoga. They wanted to do acro yoga after the class every day. So it's very, it's, it's, it's really a bonding time mm -hmm. as well as a deeper stretching times. Mm -hmm. before. So it's fun time for us. We, the process is so much fun, but because <laughs> we were trying to do a very difficult thing and everyone is laughing, like mm. <laughs> it's, it's a fun time for us. So I used to put every day those poses, acro yoga poses. But very then, nice. Do you teach it now? Are you doing any workshops now about acro yoga? No, I, I don't teach acro yoga. Only we, we used to practice and do the poses from the internet. We, the, we saw some poses and we right. tried to do it with the, uh, yes, with them. But okay. we have done a lot of amazing poses because many, many uh, students are very good with that. When we started, I started doing yoga with them. They, they, they couldn't do any of them. But they, when they start doing that, it's a very good, I mean, the big achievement for them. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> okay, so before I see if there are any questions, you can share with us your plans for 2021. If you have any workshops coming up, any new classes you're going to put on, anything you want to share that's coming up for 2021. Yeah, 20, actually last year, December, I, I, have, uh, it, I had, uh, I, I, I couldn't go there because, uh, because of lockdown. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to go in the Maldives to do a yoga session to a resort mm -hmm. and it was, I missed that one. And I supposed to do a retreat in Spain with one, one, with one of my um, friend from the yoga training course. Mm -hmm. and she's, she's a, a Spanish girl. Mm -hmm. She wanted me to go there and do the training. We fixed everything during the April time, Easter holiday, but it also missed. We were planning again, but I think it depends on when we can plan oh, any right, lock yeah. lockdown relief. Mm. Uh, but we are planning to go to Maldives uh, during summer. Hopefully, I am not sure <laughs> because Lovely. yeah, that's what I'm planning. I have uh, actually arranged something in the Maldives before I came, but it it didn't work well because of this corona thing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i need to so was that a retreat uh, was yeah, that a yoga I retreat I was, uh, yeah i was about to do a retreat there because in my island there there are so many guest house in the island right so they want they approached me to do a retreat there but because of this mm. one and a half years it was like 
we can't arrange anything because of this, right? Right. So I'm right. waiting to when maybe next year. Maybe next year, or maybe later on this maybe year. You never know. Year. You might be lucky. Yeah. You might be lucky. Okay. So before we see if there are any questions, is there anything else you would like to add? Anything you've forgotten to tell us? Uh, any pearls of wisdom? <laughs> <laughs> anything you want to share? Yeah, I think I think everything is done. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Well, we can see if Amanda has question. No pressure, Amanda. <laughs> Thank you for being here again, lovely. Hi, Amanda. She's on mute. Oh, trying to unmute myself, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. I, um, I'm Hi. on my iPhone, so it's changed the whole dynamic this evening. That's why I had my um, camera off. Um, I, um, I don't know if I have any questions, but I did see that your wonderful acro yoga on Instagram. Oh, um, thank you so much. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, and yeah, just hello. Thank you. Hi, uh, nice meeting you. Nice thank to meet you too. Me. And so it was a bit late. Thank All you. Right. We, we literally just started. My story. Uh, I, I forgot to tell you that I did my aerial yoga as well. Uh, yeah, that one I missed. I did my aerial yoga training as well, and I, I told Daniel about it, but they don't have any studio with the facility. Wow, aerial yoga. Okay, yeah, aerial so. Aerial yoga so, is really interesting. So help us understand, what's the difference between aerial yoga and acro yoga? Uh, aerial yoga is, you have a hammock. It's like anti-gravity yoga it's with the hammock you do a lot of stretching uh, have, haven't you seen any of acro seen airy I'm, i've seen aerial. acro but not aerial ah uh, aerial is with the hammock you have to do with the hammock most of the poses you will do with the hammock y using that hammock you do a lot of stretching and you do a lot of great poses <laughs> mm, okay but all in a hammock yeah, okay. you, you will be hanging up and down like in the air. Okay. It's so like, the ceiling uh, has to be quite high then. No, 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 no need to be that high, but the hammock can you can adjust the hammock with that okay. one. The acro yoga is with the partner. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah. like with the partner. Yeah. It's very different too. But yeah, it's I love acro yoga. I mean acro acro as well as aerial yoga. Aerial yoga is really interesting. Mm. So much, to, yeah. I told well, about that. So to teach, how many people can you teach aerial yoga to at one time? You can teach as many as you in the studio. I mean, okay. So as long yeah, as you've got the equipment. Yeah, equipment. So it has to be like a specially designed studio. Yeah, yeah. Of right. Course. Okay. You need to hang the hammock. Right. Okay. Everybody will be doing that. It's it's really lovely. Thing. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure hearing your journey. Yeah, thank, thank you me. for sharing it um, with thank us. Thank you, Amanda. Is this still there? <laughs> <laughs> She's still there. <laughs> and yeah. um, if you're watching this on replay, which we know many people do watch on replay, if you have any questions for Shifana, please do put them in the comments box because we'll get a message to her and she will share the answer. So thank you all very much for tuning in. And on the 8th of February, our next um, yoga teacher of colour will be Kat. I can't, I don't think I can say her last name correctly, so we're not going to pronounce it. I'm going to double check it with her. So it's our cat from um, More Yoga. So I look forward to hearing Kat's story. But for now, thank you so much, Shifana, once again. Have a great thank rest. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care. Good me here, yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.